In this video, you will learn that how you can use Remix ID to test your smart contract, to write your smart contract, to deploy your smart contract. What are the Web3 provider Remix ID provide you which you can use to connect with different blockchains, whether you want to use injected provider, whether you want to use Metamask, Ganache, Hadhat, Localhost, all the provider you will find in this Remix ID so you can test your smart contract. In this video, I'm going to give you a complete overview and what are the setups you have to do to be on my footstep to continue in this course. Okay, so make sure you open your remix id in your browser so here i have opened the remix id in my browser and the very first thing you have noticed this scam alert okay so don't need to share any important credential with anyone else don't get into trap of liquidity and pools so they have given some tips which you can follow to make it secure your account okay and here you will find some feature plugin which you can use to write your smart contract so we have salty we have stakenet and bunch of plugin we have we're going to explore each one of that from here you can easily able to create a new file new folder and you can connect to localhost okay so if you want to use your localhost browser Browser to create a test your contract you can do that and if you have any confusion about remix id or any particular feature which remix id provide you can simply visit their documentation you can easily able to visit the channel and then some feature website if you want to take the reference of that okay and, and from here you can easily able to import any file or any library so we have github ipfs http rpc url okay so they have bunch of options we're going to explore this okay and here we have our terminal so all the contract will deploy all the transactions logs that's all we can able to find right up here okay so we're going to see this in basic overview of this home page now on the right hand side you will find that we have our workspace okay so if you click on this here, here you will find different workspace so if you want to use create a new workspace you can create if you want to connect with the local host you can do that if you want to go with the default you can do that so make sure you go with the new create new one okay and here you have to give the name you can pick that what you want you want blank open up link erc21 erc2021 erc5050 so okay here you will have bunch of options which comes with supportive template which you can use it okay and here you can give the name whatever you want okay so i'll say s o l i d i t y s o r d course okay because all the course we're going to write in this okay so here you can see we got our project workspace ready this is the name we have given let me close all this open folder and that's the script so if you want to test the contract you can do it right up here which we're going to do from here you can do the edit it from delete and if you want to import any file from the workspace you can do that from deployment you can do that and you can simply copy it okay you can simply copy a, a url from the github and you can paste and you can import the entire file here okay so that's how you can create your basic workspace okay so if you click here you will come back to your workspace if you click on this from here you can do the basic settings like file extension and what are the things you need to exclude okay here you will have a uh, importing so this is the very important thing here you will find all the sorority compiler version okay and that's very important make sure you should always use the latest salty compiler version and but if you have any previous code suppose you have got any smart contract which is written in previous version so make sure to come and simply change the compiler version as well because by default it will select this but if you using different compiler version and you have in different in your smart contract and if you are using this that will throw an error okay so make sure you can easily able to change your compiler version from here we're going to do time to time okay and make sure to make it on auto compile so whenever you will write it will automatically compile and save and you don't need to do anything here okay from here you can easily able to do the important setups okay so let me expand this and let me show you what we have here so here the environment we're going to use is this remix vm london you can use this berlin and here you will have all the providers so we have injected provider we have hardware provider we have ganache we have boundary provided connect wallet so we have all this provider we can use it to test our smart contract okay so if you want to use hard at which i have used a lot in my previous nft marketplace project so if you haven't watched that i'll link the complete tutorial so you can follow that okay so we're going to use each of this provider in detail but we'll start with this normal remix id provider london one okay and from here you will have to pick your account so remix id provide you close to 10 account and each account contain 100 fake either so we're going to use each of this account to switch between the accounts and do the testing of our contract from here you can easily able to set the limits in your contract okay so whenever you want to have a limit in a function like this much gas fee you're going to pay for calling the function so you can set the limit for that as well from here you can from here you have multiple currency 
which is an ether this is way is the lowest gray is the uppest and then finny and then we have the ether okay so we're going to do all the transaction in terms of ether so make sure you select this ether and from here we can easily equal to take it up and down okay and here we're going to have a contract so when we're going to compile it we're going to use it at all and here you will find all the transaction log you don't need to worry about this and here you will find the deployed contract okay and from here you can easily able to do the debugging okay and that's the very important feature because this tool will allow you to see that what data you have in which function at the time of deployment and when you are calling the function so you can easily step by step navigate to the entire function and you can check the value okay and the same thing we have done when we are building the empty marketplace api and that i have explained that how you can check the every single value in the api the data is flowing okay so this is a very important tool which we're going to use a lot and you don't need to worry about this here you can stop and run the code which we're going to do exactly and here you will find all the libraries so we're going to use a couple of libraries to make our work very easy and this is the general setup okay don't need to worry about it and that's the only thing i wanted to cover about this remix id because it's really powerful if you do all the same thing in the code we can do it very easily but it will it's more time consuming and we have this powerful tool which we can use right in the browser and test and deploy in one go okay so that's the tool we're going to use a lot when we done with the entire course with all the syntax then we'll move to the project and that we're going to use our code editor and do all the thing okay so hope you guys have found this video valuable you have understood that what are things we have if you want to find plugins where you have to go how to create a workspace how to import different in different resources from different places like ipfs github we're going to do that all so hope you guys have found this video valuable if you have still any question any down do leave in the comment section and that's the only thing i want to cover in this video in the next video i'm going to show you the sample smart contract which i have built for the hotel industry so we're going to have a look at that contract that how we can write contract in the real world so before we actually move to the syntax part we have to have an understanding that what th what are the things goes into that for writing a smart contract okay what are the syntax we are using okay so i'm going to give you a complete overview of the contract which i have built for the hotel industry so let's move to the next video.